What's up guys, Alex here with another video and today's topic is going to be on a new Vegas Pro 12 feature which is called Smart Proxy. So over here on the timeline I have a high definition video and when I'm trying to preview it so that I can edit it, you're going to notice that the video is a little choppy. So Smart Proxy is going to help solve this problem and I'll explain why. So there's a new feature in Vegas Pro 12 called Smart Proxy. And if I create a video proxy for this specific HD video, what it's going to do is basically, in a way, create a copy, a lower resolution copy of this video. And that lower resolution copy is going to be called a video proxy. Now, since it's lower resolution, uh, it's going to be much easier for Sony Vegas to communicate all that data when I'm playing back the video on my screen. And when you're actually rendering out the entire video, uh, Sony will use the original video instead of using the smart proxy in order to have the best video quality when you're rendering out your video. So to enable smart proxy and create video proxies for your footage, uh, you need to go into your project media tab. And here are your footage. You want to go ahead and right click on any of the footage that I want to create a video proxy for. Right click on it and create video proxy. Now this is basically similar to pre-rendering out your video. The only difference is that uh, Smart Proxy does not render out any of the effects you apply onto the video on the timeline compared to pre-render which you can render out a small sample of your video uh, including effects. So Smart Proxy only renders out uh, the original footage for smoother playback and editing. And when you're creating a video proxy, you want to make sure that the video that you're creating a video proxy for is on the timeline. Now once it's on the timeline, uh, you'll automatically have your video proxy. Let's see how it plays back. So as you notice, you have very smooth video playback compared to last time when I tried to play the original video clip. So the smart proxy is really good if you have a lower end computer and you're trying to edit a high definition video. You create video proxies and you're editing workflow and um, playback is more efficient compared to the original workflow when you don't have video proxies. So I hope you guys like this little short tutorial. If you want me to go over any of the new features that Sony has included in Vegas Pro 12, please comment down below. Again, if you have any need for any help or any questions, please ask me down in the comments below and make sure you give this video a like and I will see you guys next time.